is why they call him the Axe Man. Now, <laughs> modern barbershop in Thindigwa, Kiambu County is making headlines for its unorthodox if not archaic method used to shave their clients. The barber and owner of Clippers King's Barbershop Julius Mwangi drew his inspiration from a man he saw using an axe to shave with great dexterity. He has been a barber since 2014, but started using an axe three months ago. He told Inuro TV that some of his potential customers back out after they learn he will use an axe to shave them and not the electric shaving machine. But some of his clients are happy with his work. Julius uses the implement primarily used to chop or split firewood to even draw hairline on a client's head. He also shaves beards with the axe. Speaking in his native Kikuyu language, the barber told Inuro that some people come to take photos when he is at work. When people hear of a barber shaving with an axe, they are curious to know where. Some come to see and take photos with the axe but prefer not to be shaved with it. Some come full of fear but I help them overcome it, he said. Julius avers that an axe is perfect for shaving Jordan where you completely shave your hair and he can continue working, even when there is a power outage. Clients pay KES 500 for a shave. The majority of us sit in a hairdresser's chair risking nothing more than a slight nip of the ear, at the very most. But this customer raised the stakes somewhat, having his hair cut by a man wielding an axe and a hammer. A nail-biting video shows the barber giving the brave, or perhaps foolhardy, man a crew cut by knocking the axe along the side of his head. The latest trend in weird grooming, up there with beard baubles, is to have a barber cut your hair with an axe and hammer, or use the wood chopping tool, let's remember that purpose here, to shave your face. We hope that barber has steady hands. The practice actually dates back the 30s and 40s, when axe salesmen would demonstrate the quality of their wares by shaving a lucky or unlucky logger in front of a crowd of potential buyers. Today, YouTube users have replaced the crowd of loggers, such as this dude who used a straight-up meat cleaver to give his client, we'll admit, a pretty decent fade. 